Hi, Murray Hallam here. Well, last night we had a crackerjack storm here. The um, summertime, they're always warning us about storm season and to be careful and to be ready and all that kind of thing. Well, last night we had this storm move through. When I say last night, it was about 4.30, 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The storm came, moved through, and man, what a storm. There were, there's branches down everywhere, there's trees over the roads, and our power went off. Our power went off at about 6 o'clock, uh, went off and was off until 4 a.m. this morning. So we've got solar panels on the roof and uh, they do their job during the day obviously and we've got a battery bank over here that's great and normally our system can run off the batteries until about 10 o'clock at night at which time the system automatically cuts over to mains power to charge the batteries again and when the batteries are full then it drops back again and so on the system operates beautifully like that but last night no power I had to come down here at about 8 o'clock and I just got here just in time because the batteries were starting to get down to the bottom limit and so I set up a good old Gen set, you can see it here. This is my diesel uh, 240 volt AC um, battery, um, battery charging, uh, system running AC gen set, a beautiful gen set. Uh, it works really, really well, and you can see it's still sitting here with stuff going on it. Anyway, the um, gen set was going, and uh, but I had to get up during the night because when you've got you know, several thousand fish like I have, uh, you're really worried about them. Uh, not being looked after during the night even though we had a backup system running as well from another battery bank we've got here a little bit overkill I know but boy when the day finally comes uh, when you have to rely on your backups man it's good that I've got double redundancy so to speak I've got the 24 volt um, pumps that operate in the fish tanks as well as the good old diesel gen set that will carry me through and did so last night keeping our batteries fully charged the whole time and having all the AC pumps running all through the night so it was a bit of a night, up and down, you know, checking on the thing, being like a bit of a, a mother over, or a chicken over a brood of chickens. I've lost too many fish in my life to let them happen, let that happen too easily, so uh, last night. But I've got to say, this gen set, which is the first time I've actually used it for any length of time, it actually ran last night for six and a half hours, and only burnt about six litres of diesel. Isn't that great? Or eight litres of diesel, maybe at the most. So I'm really, really happy with that. So we've been warned by the Weather Bureau that we get identical conditions today. It's actually about 35 degrees C here right now, and you can feel it's just a good day for another big storm. So, our girl's ready, and we're ready to go. Now, while we're at that, I just want to show you my second backup, backup if, if we can talk about that. So, just follow me. My second gen set. Have a look at this guy. I've had this one for years, actually. Years and years and years. And it's a 240 volt, 5 kVA diesel gen set, single cylinder. And uh, it's hand starts. You've got to pull it with a rope, which nearly breaks your arm if you don't get it right. But it works great, reliable as can be. I've had it for, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years, I don't know how long. But of course, this is our second backup for the backup, you know what I mean? So we had this out ready last night in our dirty old shed. Sorry about all the leaves on the floor, but we had a lot of wind coming here last night and blow things around. But there you go, so we've got backup for backup. So, just to finish off, this is my really old battery bank that I've had now for better than 10 years. And when I bought it, it was 10 years old, so they're all lead acid batteries. And these are all wider for 24 volts. This is the inverter that charges them off. Have four little solar panels on the roof, keeps them tightly charged. This was operating beautifully last night when the power went out running the 24 volt backup pumps in each fish tank. And so we had double backup, if you know what I mean, so it was pretty good. But look, while I'm here, I just want to tell you uh, one thing I want to remind you of, that it's only about three weeks to go to our aquaponics masterclass that we're going to be holding here in Brisbane on the 5th of March. Now, we've already about half booked out already, so I just want to advise you, go to our website, aquaponics.net.au, have a look at the course requirements and the course uh, outline, and book now for the course, because you're going to really learn a lot about backups. You'll be able to get to see my backup systems while you're here, as well as a whole lot of other stuff that we teach about aquaponics from the very, very beginning, if you're a raw beginner, all the way through to farm scale work. So March the 5th, four day aquaponics masterclass.